show did you get written up yo 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 hi i'm elvis i'm from 1935 to 1977 i was treated like the king i am the king of rock and roll that is born in 1935 i've always had a love of music when i was two i traveled up to the same church and started singing speaking of being born i almost wasn't the one and only king my twin brother jesse was still born that means he died before my mom gave birth to him but i went on with my life barely even knew that it happened After school, I married a girl named Priscilla Bullion, and we had a girl in 1968 who we named Lisa Marie Presley, who later married Michael Jackson. And that makes our family history pretty famous considering that I'm distantly related to Abe Lincoln and Jimmy Carter. So that's a pretty famous family if you ask me. Then in December 1957, I was drafted into the Army. This was like some many teenage girls and they shaved off my sideburns. They were a big thing back then. That's why I grew mine out so long. After the army, I decided to start my music career again. In fact, my whole life, I recorded over 600 songs, but I didn't write any of them. And that is a lot of singing. Then in 1956, I took a visit to the Ed Sullivan Show. I knew that once I got there, I pretty, I pretty much hit a big time. Anybody who goes there pretty much hits a big time. Pretty much hits a big time. Then from 1961 to 1968, I made 20 movies for uh, the star and the highest actor in all Hollywood. If, uh, if you ask me, pretty big girl. Sadly, I died in age 42. So in conclusion, I think I made history in the life of rock and roll. Any questions? Where do you live? Well, well, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, but then, but then later in life, but then later in life, I, um, I, I moved to Grayson. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Elvis. Bye.